Welcome to another tutorial by Medicine Studios. Within this tutorial we're going to be going through this new feature within Adobe Muse, the new feature of in-browser editing. So let's get started. So let's head on up to the file menu and scroll down to add in-browser editing user. This is going to take you to your default internet browser and it's here that you go over to the invite admin user what you have to simply do is put in their email address their first name their last name and the type of role that they're going to be doing You let the business catalyst do its thing and it will let you know when it's successful. Now let's head on over to our emails. And here we read, you have been recently invited to this particular business catalyst URL. To create a password, copy that link and paste it into the internet browser. So create a new tab or however you fancy doing it. And there we go, we have to create a password now. So we'll just enter that and it will tell you when it's not enough characters as well. is just loading up and now this is the analytics but what we're wanting to do is the in editing browser or in browser editing even there's just a few instructions to get you started and to show you how it works simply hover over the type brings up the edit contents dialog box and I'm thinking let's just put in something just to illustrate how it works put a smiley face, update and you can see that that change is reflected in the CSS of the website now we're not going to publish this, we're going to discard the changes because I don't think the customer would be too happy if we start putting smiley faces all over the place but we can go back to the analytics have a good nosy about that, see the different users and we can even preview it in the browser so you get a really good idea of how the business catalyst works and why it's such a powerful platform for our customers to use it's absolutely first class